going to the southwest. southwest. Shut off valve. We set it by altitude, so our altitude here is 638 feet, regardless of the pressure. Uh -huh. So we set it to a little over 600 with our 100, so right about there. That tells us about what the pressure is right now, and then we'll get our we'll get our uh, actual pressure setting from it is. Fuck. Digital, so. Do we? We do wait, have where's we have avionics master here. There it is. We just don't have it in the other one. So you might even write down four zero mic on here. It's like to remind you that one airplane. <laughs> the one seventy twos have them? Yes they do. All of the one seventy twos do. Okay. Mixture rich, so good. Total. Mm-hmm. Barb is in his off. Cold. Yep. <laughs> Clear. Good, I can hear you. Going on. That's really loud. Um, on yours. Um, turn your head. There we go. Here we go. Now let's go ahead. Enter. Enter. And okay, so that we can see all our frequencies that, that are being used. Okay. Alright, so. Alright, what else do we need to do on the startup? Okay? Yeah, Alright, so just hit VFR. It goes to 1200. Um, okay, so before taxiing, radios are on. Altimeter. You ha well, we got to get our ATIS. So our ATIS frequency, remember, is 126.5. So on this radio, switch it over. And it's we're not hearing it yet. So if one, you look at the volume on this one. But then you got to look at our 
audio selector panel and it's on COM1, which is on this. So now we gotta just press COM2 to listen to it. So press COM2. Now we write down. Information Hotel. Celsius, which means it's warm. Three zero zero. Where I got that set. So now we have information hotel. So now we need to go to ground, which is one two one point seven. There we go. So now we're on ground because we're on comp two, and we got the volume set. Now notice that since we have everything pretty much set for the most part, we don't have to do a lot of dial changes. So now we're gonna tell them what we're at least playing. Do you remember the radio call? All right, what is it? Riverside Ground, Cessna 5440, my ready to taxi from Lisa Plain with information. Hotel, air service to Southwest. Yes, that is correct. Just make sure your mic's close to your mouth so that I can hear you. Okay. And um, on, this, on this airplane, when you transmit, you might keep a finger right behind there because since it's aluminum, it, it kind of gives and sometimes it, it loses a little bit of that. So, we'll wait for him to get done, but then we'll do that call. I think they just don't want to talk to him. We can take you to Southtown Main Lab to 3. Squirt 53, Riverside Ground, taxi to Parking B Alpha. Taxi to B Parking B Alpha, Southtown 53. Cessna 62903 Hotel, Riverside Ground, taking request. Riverside Ground, Cessna 62903 Hotel, at RFC Ramp 100, Information Hotel, would like to request radar services to the west. Cessna 903 Hotel, maintain that or below 2,500 Tulsa departure frequency, 134.7, squawk 0255. Guys, departure clearance, like you're going to get, we're going to write that down when they give it to us. Cessna 903 Hotel, runway 1 left, taxi V Alpha. Someone else transmitted. Guys are all stepping on each other. That wasn't you, so don't. Side ground, Skyhawk 65994 on Alpha 4, taxi to Lisa Point. He's got, he got mad, so he just got off. Yes, sir. Okay, 
Okay, call the tower to get in there. Uh, yeah, he got trouble. Uh, two Charlie Fox trap. Uh, possible pilot deviation, uh, call the tower and get back to parking. Okay, two Charlie Fox. Alright, now you can call. Wait, <laughs> right. he, he had those guys start moving without permission. And he's coming back, so you can talk now. Oh. Riverside Ground, Cessna 5440, Mike. Ready to taxi from Lisa Plain with information. Hotel, regular service to the southwest. Perfect. Now get ready to ride. Micro percent ground. Maintain that up below 2500. Tulsa departure frequency 134.7. Squawk 0214. Maintain outer two below 2500. Departure 134.7. Squawk 0214. 40 Mike. That's correct. Taxi hold short of Alpha. Taxi hold short Alpha. 40 Mike. Alright, perfect. Like ground, Alright, let's taxi and just hold short of the of the movement line. Advance the throttle. Clear of the active on for request taxi to RMC. Turn right. Seven three nine or kilo November Riverside Ground. Are you at uh, Alpha Two? Uh, at uh, nine four two six eight at Alpha Two taxi to RMC. Oh. And we're going to hold here. Just 268 taxi to parking the Alpha. And then he's going to let us go. So it's better, Kilo November, stay positioned. Kilo November, hold a position. Oh, stay position, please. That's a solid student. Kilo November is holding position. Yeah, no, he I'm wants to know where position. you are. I'm at Alpha Alpha 4. He need to explain it. He, he, Just Kilo November, taxi to parking the Alpha. I'll have you, by the way, I'll have you do so differently. Taxi via Alpha, cross 1. Okay, he can handle it. Just uh, 4 0 Mike, runway 1 left, taxi V Alpha. 1 left, taxi V Alpha, 4 0 Mike. Alright, let's go out here and turn right. Riverside Ground, Cessna 5522 So we're winning brownie points with the tower right now. <laughs> Good job with the radio calls, too. Thank you. I was practicing all weekend. Service at ground, Cessna 5522 X-ray. Alright, slow down. I'll use the brakes here. There we go. Get the brakes. I got the airplane. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, she's doing it again. Uh, well, that was bad. That, it's that right brake again. So first, just all this next time to slow down a little bit earlier and then when we just a gradual plot application of the brake so we're okay so hold here and we'll do our run up to Riverside Ground taxi to parking B Alpha taxi parking B Alpha is right Backup. Our home 17, how many? 
standard. All right. Okay, Cessna at uh, Alpha 3-1, river side ground, taxi to parking the Alpha. Not a bad thing. What? Good. That's Bofo. Now you test, what else do we test while the engine's up there? And goes down, we'll make sure it goes back to the three. Put it back in. I'd pull this back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, probably did. Alright. Alright, so what's next? Southwest and take the radar. Oh, thousand. Alright, uh, nope. Throttle idle. So, check with Carby. 500 RPM. That's what we do first. Alright, and try it with the Carby on. Running really smooth, good. So we can put it back, and now we can go next to the put next thing, which is put it back to a thousand. Okay. Seven oh five, Robert Delta, runway one left, taxi via Alpha. One left via Alpha, five to Robert Delta. Spark five eight, Riverside ground, runway first taxi to park via Alpha. Park via Alpha, Spark five eight. Oh, uh, now we're running complete. All right, so let's verify real quick. Take off transponder. Oh. All right, runway. We'll, we'll go more into that. Uh, eventually here, I want you to review the emergencies before we take off. But just so that we, for today, I have the airplanes. So don't worry about it because we want to actually go fly today. Um, it's been doing good just trying to get through this. So next page. Uh, we don't do IFR transponder, so we need to put in our code. What's our code? Zero two three four. Uh, zero two one four. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put that in there. There we go. That's our altitude, so good. Uh, flaps we don't need. Mixtures in. Car heat we don't need. Trim adjusted. Takeoff time we won't worry about that. We'll rotate at 55. Landing light. We'll go ahead and turn that on now. And uh, that's it. So we are now runoff complete. One contact tower. And uh, I will adjust our top radio frequency to our departure, which is 134.7. That way we don't have to do it while we're in flying. All right. So, all right. Runoff complete. Riverside ground says 440 Mike. Runoff complete. That's 40 Mike. Number two behind another 152. Contact tower. One yard number one. Oh, jeez. All right, I get it. All right, right. Uh, to tower when we're number one behind the 152. Where's your mic? It's just repeating back, just understanding it. So, all right, well, let's taxi up behind him. go that they did that they did it from center line so if we start the left when you go there so let's hold here there you go hold it here for now then when he goes then we can follow him and take that position but we'll be on the center line it's all a matter of practice all right other things just kind of look at flight instruments right before we already set that make sure that this matches up to the compass a uh, bit off has to be between the seven and the nine. Don't wait and say it's flight instruments. Make sure that's zero. This is level. Make sure that's adjusted like to what we are. And uh, that's it. And our vertical speed is indicating 100 feet climb, so that's our zero point. Landing lights on. So, and we got the 
the squawk box in there at altitude, so. All right, so let's pull up to his position and then we'll switch radio frequencies. All right, hold here. That's a good position because we can see there. So let's switch to COM1. So now we're number one. So we're 540 Mike, number one, at one left for southwest departure. You can transmit at any time. So we're Riverside Tower. Yep, Riverside Tower. That's now 540 Mike at one left, number one at one left for the southwest. We'll stay out of <laughs> That's right. The closest traffic I have right now is the caravan. Seven miles to the west will be entering a left base, 2,900 descending. Roger that. Just didn't know if you had anyone in the uh, left traffic, that's all. Riverside Tower, Cessna 5440, Mike. One left. Number one, one left. They'll get to us. Caravan 889er Alpha X3 or Sun Tower, enter left base north of the turnpike. There's a news helicopter about a mile and a half southwest. Mr. Will Cavanaugh. There's traffic down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, still traffic. This is 5440 Mike or Sun Tower, turn left heading 280, runway 1 left, clear for takeoff. 280, clear for takeoff, 40 Mike. All right, close the window, let's go. They're about seven miles, correction, six miles to the west. They're gonna enter a base north of the turnpike and they'll be looking for you. They're currently at 2,300 descending. All right, slow down a bit. There you go. All right, there you go. Can you bring a little bit of the brick. There you the go. I can bring him in on a close base entry. Get back on the center line. Once you're on the center line, give it full power and keep that right rudder in. All right. Yep. Just yeah. Balance it out. Heels on the floor. Heels on the floor. Keep that hand on the throttle. We don't want it coming out. Hand on the throttle. There we go. There you go. Airspeed's alive. We got full power. We're good. All right. We're 55. Go ahead and pull back. We keep it pulled back, otherwise we'll come back down. There we go. Now don't keep pulling back. Let the nose come down a little bit. There you go. Now we work it. Try to keep climb at about 67 to 70 knots. Oh. Oh, it's been a while since I've flown. Feels like anyway. All right, keep that throttle full power in there. Doesn't already. Okay, good. Keep. Yeah, we'll keep it about 70. It's a bit warm today. And we want to keep it going straight down the runway because we're kind of creeping along. Because we got airplane right here, so a little bit into this way. You can't see him because the, the nose is there. There you go. Thank you. Maintain visual separation with that. Go away, buzzard! Oh. Given 9 around back for the new helicopter does have you in sight. Can I get traffic inside 9 around back for you? Alright, so when we get to 1400, we'll turn to heading 280. Or unless they tell us earlier. Ready for takeoff. Come on, 505 November Delta, we're assigned to our hold short runway 1 left. And what's your direction of flight today? Uh, we're going to go on southwest and uh, we're going to short for one left for five uh, number delta. That's a 4-0 mic, contact Tulsa departure, have a good flight. Contact Tulsa departure, thank you, 4-0 mic. That's an 831, runway 1 right. Alright, keep that climb going, let's go ahead and turn to 280. That's a 744, runway 1 right, click for the option. Roger that, I'm clear, I was still talking to Tower while I was doing that, you didn't even know. Clear for the option, 744. 261, your radio, you're hot. Yeah, I know, wrong button. News 6 likes to bring it into the jet center. Ah! I am going to give him crap for that tomorrow.
Alright, so we're on. Now I switch this over to. Oh. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. All these experienced aviators pressing the wrong buttons. Alright, keep that clown holding the right heading. Good, good, good. So now we're on departure, so we can say, call us a departure. Five, that's not five, four, four, zero, Mike. Riverside, 1,700. Request 4,500 Southwest. Or, let's do it this way. Pulse of departure, 5440 Mike, 1700. Just say that. Oh, all right. Pulse of departure. Pulse of departure. That's the 5440 Mike, 1700. Pulse of departure, that's the 5440 Mike, 1700. Proceed on course at or below 4,500 for zero mic. Proceed on course at or below 4,500 for zero mic. All right, now he basically says we told them on ground where we were going. He knows we're going that way. He gave us permission to climb to go that way. So let's turn to a heading at 230 and climb to 4,500 so we can keep climbing. You can make it shorter. I just say, usually because I'm a long-winded guy, I talk a lot when I'm in the airplane. This is the most I've talked all day, by the way. Nose up trim, so yeah, pull it down. There you go. And we'll try to climb at about 75. That way we'll climb faster. And, the, and, I, and you're doing with a lot of new people. I have the airplane for a second. When I do tramp, I just do it this way, and then that way you'll actually want to come up a little bit. I didn't used to be so aggressive with it, and then and then after kind of gets there, then you do the small move. You can hold this heading, this is a good heading. Oh. Yep, keep that climb going. The higher we get, the smoother the air will be, and also cooler. on the radios earlier, one guy started moving, and they weren't authorized, Not, and they got in trouble for it. That's why we listen and we are very patient, because and that's the other thing, once that starts happening, the guy's got to start talking to the other one, that's why I started being quiet real quick. Five five one, total departure air contact. Departure 
departure, Airship 507, level 2500, left turn 300. Airship 507, 12, departure, air contact. So, so you know, we're diverging. nicer up here at altitude. I remember pitch with the yoke first and then power out a little bit and then you can put the trim. Pitch, power, trim. So pitch is level so we'll make sure those wings are level and that we have a couple fingers worth of There we go. Power back a little bit. Okay, 
They're really, really stiff, the throttle. Yeah. And always loosen it up if you need to. Because they can bring it back and they can retighten it. I play it at about 2300. And then you can put that trim in, hold that altitude. Alright, good. Now the airplane's in cruise configuration. Alright, let's go ahead and turn to the south, 180. Left turn. Also, when we get this altitude on days like this, you kind of want to put out the mixture so the engine will run, to run a little bit better. So we watch the RPMs when we kind of do this. We want to see it creep up a little bit, and then we kind of hold it there. It goes down, then I went too far or too fast. Well, you want to see it kind of go up a little bit, and you'll see it actually peak, peak also on the uh, exhaust gas temperature. It'll start going up a lot. So keep turning it out. I'll fly on the airplane on your heading. Gotta fly the airplane while we do it. Alright, you have the airplane obviously, so go ahead and kind of give me, give me a left turn to two, or it's a correction, left turn to uh, 150 for a minute.
Oh, you can see Oklahoma City today. Yeah, you see that smoke out there? Ah. Just to the left of you'll see kind of straight. That's the skyline of Oklahoma City. Ah. <laughs> it's a clear day for once. All right, so let's turn back to south. This is one eight zero. I have the airplane. I'm going to give you a demo of the, oh yeah, emergency descents. So emergency descents is actually one of the maneuvers that's in the pink pages. Oh. And equals flat tire, no. Emergency descent. So, I'm going to do a clearing turn because I don't trust that this air airspace is just completely open. Out of my face. So, what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to do this in fairly fast order, but mixture, and that's another reason I had to lean it out so we actually have to go through it. Mixture will go ridge, car peak will come out, throttle will go all the way down, flaps will go all the way to 30, but we got to wait until it's in, in the white arc before we can actually do that. And then we're going to try to keep a, a spiraling left descent at about a 30 degree angle um, and we're going to go down pretty fast. Ready? Alright, so, and, and it actually happens in this order. Mixture in, carb heat out, power out. And we let slow down, it's in the fold, so I just dump the flaps and then I start letting the airplane descend. And I start a left bank. I don't let it gain faster than 85 knots, so I gotta be careful. If it starts to get too fast, I just gotta pull back a little bit, controlling my airspeed with my pitch. And when we do that, our descent rate goes through the roof. Ah. But at the same time, we're not going too fast, or we're staying in a controlled descent. If I wanna recover, I wanna say recover here, I just level the airplane, carpet in, Full power. The airplane starts speeding up 10 degrees out. And 10 knots for every other 10 knots. Of, uh, 10 degrees for every 10 knots of airspeed. And we just, just get, get trucking again. So now we climb back up. Alright, so what I want you to do is turn the airplane around, let's speed up, and then do, do the same thing. Don't descend down to about 3,500. Questions? It doesn't have to be pretty. So first, make sure your mixture's in. Okay. Thank you. And carpet. And then power full out. Out. All right. And we're in the wide arc, so dump the flaps. And start a left turn. I'll make it ready. Right
that nose down because we gotta increase our speed to 85. out the airplane, hitting doesn't matter, and I want you to put the power back in. All right, 3,000, level the airplane. So pull it back, hold it level, car beat in, full power. All right, hold it level so that we get our airspeed back 10 degrees and flap out. So 10, yeah, 20 degrees, there you go. Ah. Let it speed up. X 10 degrees. Keep it level, keep it level, fly the airplane. And last five, here we go. And that's your first emergency descent. Trust me, you do a lot better when you're on fire. <laughs> Alright, turn to the south, 180. Alright, I want you to try it one more time. Now let's descend down to 2500. So, car, RK mixture in. Mixture in. Car beat out. Full power out. Full flaps. Double. Start your turn. And descending. Alright, pull back a little bit. We don't get you know, too fast. We got air speed is key on this one. Airspeed at 80. Yep, and we're getting down to our altitude. Level the airplane. Go ahead and level the airplane. There you go. Say that again. Pull that power back in. Power back in. Number one. There you go. All right, level the airplane. Level the airplane. There you go. 10 degrees out. Get the airplane level 10 degrees for every 10 knots airspeed increase. Stable flight. winds come from the north today, my airplane, and just when I do that, the airplane craps on me. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Uh, first thing, I'm going to establish bed supply on this airplane is about 60-65, so I'm going to do that. When I do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to put a lot of nose up trim to help me do that so I don't have to worry about it. Then I'm going to look for a field. Hey, there's a place that's the south or under us. I'm going to kind of go to the south here. Let the wind blow me that way. That looks like a good field right there. What we're going to establish is turn back into it. So that we'll end up landing this way, like we did when we took off. And we have backups if we need to. But that looks like a good one. So, I've established our glide, so I got to fly in the airplane. So, and, and I've established a head to our field, so the next thing we got to do on our second page Engine failure and flight. We need to try to restart the airplane. Yep, now carb car make sure the carburetor keeps on, because it can be carbides. Primer in and locked. So shell valve is on. Mixture is in and rich. And ignition on, master on. Uh, try to restart. Doesn't restart. Oh, crud. Uh, so next thing we gotta do is, well, I guess we're going down. It was nice knowing you. At least I remember your last name's King now. Uh, so, next again, you gotta do the next checklist, which is conveniently position other. Maintain speed control. Make sure idle cutoff. Fuel selector will come off. These don't matter. 
ignition will come off because we're taking away fuel and spark for a fire if something Wait, bad happens. Uh, what maneuvers? And so we'll keep it and it looks like we're cruising just fine for our UE back into that field. Hopefully we won't meet any cows down there. Uh, as we do that, we keep descending. Yeah, the airplane is idle. I want to make sure that is idle. And the next we're gonna like, okay, airplane shut down. 121.5 was what I turned it to. 7700 on here. So ping, ping, ping. Hey, we have a problem. I go midi, 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 midi. Cessna 5440, Mike two souls aboard, going down 12 miles south of Sepulpa. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I'm going to start turn bound in here because there's a hill here. Now I'll make sure we make it. Mayday, mayday, mayday. And then, um, well, I'm going to go make the field, so I'm going to put my flaps in. And then, oh, right, flaps look good. I'm going to turn off my master because I don't want electricals on for spark. And then I'm going to pop my doors open. And I'm going to keep flying the airplane to the field. And then I would turn into the field be like, all right, we're good. But now I want to recover the airplane because I don't want to scare these poor cows and get shot by the rancher. Gosh, it's a nice piece of land. But that is an emergency. Train ahead, yes. Uh, check, make sure we don't have any mount or antennas or anything directly in there. The reason I pick these fields is because it doesn't, they're not direct, I, I like to go a little bit lower for the sight picture than you would on a check ride. But the thing is, you need to be thinking about that all the way down. And you think, see, when I, when I pull the power and everything, as soon as I put the trim and everything, at 65, it bought all kinds of time to do everything else. Like, prompt of most cases, engine failures happen because someone pulled this, or they did something and changed the configuration of the airplane accidentally, and they cause the engine to quit. If they go through the procedure, hey, oh yeah, oops, restart the engine, go home. I'm going to climb us back up to 12,500 and I'll let you kind of meander through it. Now I kind of have the advantage of knowing that when that's going to happen. But I'm going to put you over these fields, which is why I like to come out of the south, pardon me, southwest practice area. Because we got all these fields out here, bigger ranches. Alright, your airplane keep climbing up to 2,500. Actually, make that 3,000. Give you a little more time to think about it. So your checklist is here, and this is the checklist. It's something you kind of have to have memorized, and that's why I kind of I kind of go by a flow. Fuel selector on first, and I just do that L, and I kind of work my way across because then I just see everything. It's not, a, and then I can go back and look and verify with the checklist. Because trust me, and when something actually happens, adrenaline is going to shoot through the roof. Adrenaline rushes are awesome, but not those kind. After you're done, then it's awesome. Then it's like, oh crud, what just happened?
I'd be looking for a field if I were you. A lot of them. Right, what's the first thing we do? Trim. Airspeed. So pitch down for 65, but make sure that trim helps you hold it. I not need that much. I go a little bit. Huh. Okay, good. Let go. Okay, good. Alright. Okay. Alright, find a place to put us down. Oh. No pressure. Oh. I just there. go just go for clear. Doesn't I don't care if there's cows in there. I'll, I'll steer around cows. I like Right over cows. there there's a perfect rectangle. Oh. Uh, okay, well I'll start heading toward it. See if we can make it. I'd rather be high and already there than they don't like short and be like, oh yeah, these trees are gonna be comfortable. And there is a technique for landing in trees, but usually don't worry about that because there's no real good way for that. Alright, so we're doing that, so what let's follow our checklist. We'll see if we can restart this engine. Alright. Primer. Primer. In and low. Primer. Oh, primer. Well, that's what the checklist is, so. <laughs> we'll shut up out. It's on. Make uh -huh. sure it's rich. Yep. Ignition. It won't restart. So, now what do we do? Get next one. So, keep 60. Keep on. So. Don't overshoot. Don't fly away from it. Alright. And make sure idle cut off. So we would do that. Simulated, we're not going to do that and in real life. Turn my fuel shut off valve off. Yep. It, uh, off. Transponder squawk 7700. Alright, we're about over your field, so keep that in mind. 80, 80, 80. Yep. And uh, 121.5. And just fly me to the end of your field, like if we were going in for a landing. I want to go past it a little bit and come back in. Yep, you can do that. I'm just trying to get you to think about this before we get you really into flying landings. Because it can fly the approach. It's like flying the approach. Which you've been doing pretty good, actually, so. The approach. Remember, you got flaps too. Just don't let the airplane get too slow. Don't jump them. Not necessarily. Alright, keep turning left. Keep, keep with it. Keep that nose down, we don't want to stall. Keep that nose down, keep that nose down, keep that nose down. Alright, keep down your flaps. Alright, I got the airplane. We're going to do a go around, so level. Full power. Car feed in. Which is also the same procedure for doing a go around at the airport. You hold it level, pull, 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 10 degrees out, let the airplane speed up. But now you notice you have all this up. That's why we go put now go ahead, take the airplane, finish the recovery, push down, push down, push down, hold the airplane level, hold the airplane level. Take that trim out. There you go. Trim the airplane back for a climb. There you go. Power. Good. All right, keep that climb going. Get that climb down to about 70 knots. We want to climb at our best angle. 
best speed be Y. So push that nose down, get the speed up a little bit. Level out at 2,000 feet. when that happens again. All right, everything one more time. Pitch for airspeed, 65. Looks like we got a couple good fields right in front of us. Yeah. All right, so let's just keep going this way. All right. Go ahead and do the procedure. So we're pretty low, so we don't have time to do our, our engine restart. Let's just do, uh, let's go through. All right, so fuel selector off. Yep, just doing that one. Okay, ignition off. Extra Great out. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Yep. Going down. Flaps. Down. Yep. Open doors. Master switch off. Good. All right, keep the nose down as if we're going to land. All right, it looks good. Let's go ahead and level out, recover the airplane. So level the airplane, nope, first, power, 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 power. Power heat in, good. Level the airplane, hold it, there you go. Because we don't want it to get slowed. Now 10 degrees out. Hold the airplane level, hold the airplane level. Turn a heading at two uh, three three zero. And you can turn back to north. I'm just checking our area, make sure that we don't have any other airplanes. Kind of interesting getting close to the ground without being near the airport, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, keep that climb going at about 2,500. We want to get up there a little bit so they can see us on radar because we're going to get ATIS and we'll back into the airport. The so climb at about 70 because we want to get up there a little bit faster.
And once you get to 2,000 feet, go ahead and level out and then go ahead and uh, adjust your heading indicator to your compass. Close. Yeah, I would say it's a little bit off, so push it in and adjust it. So it's about we're about three, four, five right now. A little more. There you go. Hold the airplane level when we're doing it. Let's try it again. Three, four, five. Now there you go, right there. Now let's turn back to the north. It moves a bit on you when we go out and do maneuvers and stuff. Everybody want to check it, line it up, and level flight every once, every 15 minutes if it needs it or not. And we kind of went off again when we were trying to do that because we weren't level when we did it. So, try it again. A little more power out. So zero one zero. There you go, right there, perfect. All right, so we want to go back to the rear side. We want to get weather and all that fun stuff. So we need to get ADIS. Go ahead and hit the switch button. One five three zero to wind zero nine zero at eight. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature three one dew point one two. Altimeter three zero zero zero. Visual approaching you. That's still the same. This guy talks faster. Contact ground control for clearance and taxi instructions. Arrivals, contact Tulsa approach on 134.7. That's still the same. A crane, 800 feet to the northwest of the tower at 125 feet above ground. Advise on initial contact, you have information India. So it's India, not hotel, but hotel India because HI. Side tower information, India 2153, wind 090 at 8, visibility 10, sky condition clear. Temperature 31, dew point 12, altimeter 3000. Visual approaching use, landing, departing, runways 1 left, 1 right. All departing aircraft, contact ground control for clearance and taxi instructions. Arrivals, contact. Alright, so it's information India, wind 090 at 8, clear 31 at 12, 3000. So, what we're really most interested, they want to know if we have the weather. So, India, we know the wind is, it's going to be a good crosswind coming from the right. It's clear, temperature, yeah, it's hot, and we're already set up for that. So let's head straight north because they're not going to give us straight in quite there. They're probably going to have us fly toward the white tanks, but let's uh, hold here on this heading. Alright, so our first call, we gotta go is back to COM1. So now we're on 134.7, which is Tulsa Approach, because we're going in. Tulsa Departure, Cessna 4726 Lima with you, passing 1400 for 2500, requesting 3500 to Kilo Charlie November Uniform. We're 4726 Lima Tulsa departure radar contact, altitude your discretion, and what's the on course heading? Altitude, my But basically, what we're going to say is Tulsa approach, Cessna 5440 Mike. Stay on course, 26 Lima. 15 miles to the southwest of Riverside, inbound with information, India. If you want to, I won't make you do it today, <laughs> but. Number 26, then Roger, contact us. Said, also approach us in a 5410 line, 15 miles to the southwest, inbound. Riverside with Ho India, with India. Oh. 10 
Flycraft Riverside is Juliet Current Tulsa Altimeter 29 or 9 or Oh, they just changed it. So, got to go back and listen again. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Just say that we have in our right, Juliet. Because it's not going to change that much. Now we're 13 miles southwest of Riverside. Oh, it was also approach Cessna. Uh, Cessna 5440 Mike. 13 miles to southwest the of Riverside. Riverside. Inbound. inbound with India at 2700. That's a lot. Yep. You want me to get it? Okay. Tulsa Broadcast, Archer 563 Alpha, we're about 28 miles to the northwest of Riverside, inbound, full stop with Juliet. Yeah, is it it? You're going to give him a squat code now. Archer 563 Alpha. Tulsa Departure, Cessna 4641, Papa is with you at Riverside. They're getting behind again. You guys got to answer the radio frequencies, otherwise we're just going to pile up on you. 5-6-3-Alpha, Tulsa Departure, 0 2 4 7 Papa, Tulsa Departure, radar contact. Proceed on course. Proceed on course, 4 6 Papa. Tulsa Approach, Cessna 5440 Mike, 12 miles southwest, Riverside, uh, 2700. Inbound with Juliet. Number two three hotel radar service terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change approved. Now I'll see if she. Four seven two three hotel Tulsa. Uh, departure two three hotel. Number two three hotel radar service terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change approved. Squawk VFR two three hotel back in a bit. Number four one Papa, maintain uh. VFR out of low four thousand five hundred. CFR out of below 4,500, four, Who else come? 40 Mike, uh, 12 Southwest Riverside with Juliet, 2,700. 40 Mike, is that the full call sign, and what's your type of aircraft? Cessna C 152, yeah, and affirmative 5440 Mike. I don't know why she's having a hard time with us. Everyone else is flying Cessna 140 Mike, 40204. Uh, zero two zero four four zero Mike. Welcome to Fox at Cessna at zero four when I'm going for Riverside climb to two thousand sixty five. All right, go ahead and start turning toward uh, City Flex Tower. Zero four one nine or Tulsa departure radar contact. What's the on course setting? Three three zero for four one nine. Number four one nine. Roger. Proceed on course. Four one nine. So she asked for a type, it's C-152 because it's Zosna 152. 63 operator contact 8 miles northwest of the Keystone Dam. Flight heading 140, vector for midfield left downwind, runway 1 left. Did you have it as Juliet? 140 for the ve vectors for the midfield left downwind, 1 left, and we do have Juliet, 63 Alpha. I'm not impressed with this controller. Taking way too long to do stuff. We're 419 or what altitude would you like? 65 Roger for 419. Roger, maintain 2500 all power shortly. I maintain 2500. Alright, as we proceed inbound, we'll bring up our checklist again and do a pre landing checklist. 419 contact approach 124.0. 124.0, 419. From 40 Mike, radar contact, 10 miles southwest of the Riverside Airport. Proceed over White Tanks, straight in, one left. Do you have it as Juliet? Affirmative. Uh, I have Juliet, White Tanks, for the straight in, one left. 40 Mike. So, we fly toward the White Tanks, and then we'll fly into the runway. Alright, so, while we're doing that, let's go and before landing checklist. There we go. Seat, seat belts, harnesses, good. Fuel selector is on. Landing gear, yep, that pig's landing gear still there. We've got tires, that's good. 
There's a ridge. Yep. Perfect. Well, we'll turn that on when we get closer there, and let's go ahead and turn the landing light on so they can see us further out. So we're at 2,800. Let's go ahead and descend down to about 2,500. It's a little bumpy once we get lower again. Alright, let's hold that here and then we'll descend kind of toward. We want to be at 2,000 feet by the time we get to those white tanks. Once we get to the white tanks, then we'll turn, or right before we get there, we'll turn inbound to the left toward the airport. You see the airport yet? Yes. Okay, good. Slow us down a little bit. As our airspeed's creeping into the yellow. And we could hit, it's pretty smooth today, but I don't want to, I want to try my luck, hit one bump and hurt the airplane. There we go, good. Full 2,000 feet here. We'll keep flying toward the tanks. So now you can put that power back in to help you hold that altitude. Number four zero mic contact Riverside Tower one two zero point three. One two zero point three. Have a good day. Put your mic. All right. So the next one frequency is for one two zero point three. I'm going to get that. Keep flying the airplane. And I'm just going to tell them who you know who we are. Don't need to tell them where. Should see us on radar. Riverside Tower, Cessna five four four zero. Mike, with you inbound. Full stop. This is 5440 Mike, Riverside Terry, straight in, only one left, clear to land. Straight in, one left, clear to land. Where's your mic? Alright, so. Basically told him, hey, we're out here, we're inbound, we're gonna stop. Who we are, they know where we are, what we want, stop. And they cleared us to land. So now, we can turn toward the airport a little bit. And hold this altitude. We don't wanna go any lower than 1700 because that's traffic pattern. And level off here, we want to kind of fly this angle until we get land up with the left runway. Yes, a three on only one right tax speed, Zulu. One drive, yes, Zulu, a three one. Reverse tower, size now two four in the six, holding short of runway one left, they request a departure to the west. That's two four eight nine six, you're upside there, hold short one left, line you driving. Holding short, size now in the six. As we get closer, I want you to line us up, line us up with the runway. Fly runway hiding, runway one left, clear for takeoff, that's nine, then there's six. We want to be careful we don't overshoot the runway to the parallel. Keep us head toward the runway, though. Good, though, that we shallowed up our intercept angle here. So keep it level here. This is a good angle to intercept it. Tower, uh, 
confirm 903 Hotel clear to for the option of one right. This is Hill, you're clear for the option. All right, so we're coming up, and we need to start to sink. So now we go back to that pre laying checklist before landing. All right, now that carby can come on. Power as desired. Let's go ahead and put it around about 1500. Things happen pretty fast at this point, so. But power back, pull it back more. Now we need to pull it back more. Hold our altitude because we want to trade airspeed. Now just go idle with it. And at 10 degrees of flaps. Oh, okay, there you go. Now let the airplane slow down. Idle, there we go. Keep pulling back. There you go. We want about 65. Add another 10 degrees flaps. Add full flaps. Wind's coming from the right. So we're going to crab this way and let the airplane so fly us down. Now we're airplane flying airplane at about 70, 65. So the airplane, if you let the airplane slow down, it will descend by itself. There you go. Still want to go a little bit to the right because we want to get to that center line. There you and go. Tower, Niner, three hotel, just letting uh, it glide, Niner, just like an emergency. I promise you, there is a logic to my madness. Huh. Looking good. We've got plenty of runway here. So we're going to crab. So we're going to fly. Keep letting it glide down. Keep letting it glide down. We're holding it too high. We need to be half a wingspan. So that's down here. Now we hold it off. But we're to the right, so now we got to add left rudder, and we put the right wing down. And that's the kind of landing we get when we do that. Alright, your airplane, idle throttle, and we need to pull back, and we need to apply brakes. Gradually, and we need to get off here at this runway. That's the runway 3-1, like we talked about before. I'm going to ground because that is awful. Got this real quick. Riverside ground, system 5440 mic off at runway 31, text back to Lisa Plane. 40 mic, Riverside ground, text to Lisa Plane via Alpha. Thanks to Lisa Plane via Alpha. Have a good day. 40 mic. Alright. So, what I did after that, I cleaned up the airplane, which is the post lane checklist, carbied off, flaps up. I need to turn the landing light off though, still. There you go. Left rudder. There you go. Need to slow it down. Slow it down because we got, we're over a thousand. So there you go. Back to the right. Back to the right. Back to the Nine. right. Use that, use that brake if you need to. Keep that power to at about a thousand. Once you get going fast, it'll pick up and it gets going on you, doesn't it? Right, clear left, looking at the taxiways. Breathing. Slow it down, let it coast. All right, go slow it down. So we got a plethora. Everyone's out flying today. Good grief, it's freaking empty. So I got the airplane here. It's okay. I'm using both brakes and a little more right. All I'm going to do, put it right next to the Kilo November over here so we, don't have, we can be lazy and not have to push and move the airplane. moving airplanes all day. I don't need to do it right now. That right rudder is starting to bug me again. It's not as bad as it was, but I'll have them look at it. Alright, so shut down checklist. Alright, master off. Go off.
avionics master off. So that when you, when you, avionics. If you need to take that avionics master off, just so you can think of it that way, just avionics switch. Uh. Avionics masters this because that's the master. Now it doesn't really do anything as long as you that's still on because that protects it from that kind of shut off. All right. So, so now. That one.